Thank you, Malcolm. So you're just saying that I'm just the, the last barrier uh, before your your next uh, the next call. So I try to be short, also. So um, my name is Jean-Marc Noël. I'm French. I'm living now uh, in Germany for more than 23 years, uh, and I founded the company Trusted Shops in January. Uh, 2000. So it's, it's quite a long time ago as uh, far as an internet company is concerned. First, I'd like really to thank you, Malcolm, to have this opportunity to speak in front of you uh, because I believe uh, trust and security and, and consumer confidence is really a key, a key issue and a key point to develop uh, our European market. So, um, first of all, I'd like to just give you what are my key messages here today? Because I thought, well, six minutes, instead of waiting for the end, I'll start with the end, so you, you already know what, what I mean. Um, having operated a trust mark scheme for now than more than tw 10 years, 12 years, I can tell you that um, the European trust mark and a, basically a European standard for online retailer and consumer is key to develop e-commerce. Uh, we see that now, 12 years later, we have, uh, I, I checked it this morning, uh, 15,676 and, and, uh, online retailers accredited with the scheme. Uh, we have millions of consumers using the scheme in order to, to buy online, and also not only to buy online within, within the, uh, uh, the, the national market, but also to buy online cross-border. And this is really something we can see. That's the point number one. The point number two is, well, but who trusts the trust mark? And that, that, that's basically one of any, one of big issue we have been facing all the time because you see all sorts of initiatives, more or less serious, which are just potentially confusing very much the market. So we started, for instance, in Germany, together with the, the, the German government uh, in a public-private partnership operation, what we call the um, Trustmark Monitoring Board. It has been very useful to uh, work together in order to make sure that the, uh, the, uh, well, the criteria for a Trustmark scheme is kept at a high level. Now, I remember back uh, when we st I started, actually it was in uh, summer 99, the first thing I did was to talk with the consumer protection agencies in Germany. They were at that time in Bonn, and we first asked what is actually a good online retailer from the consumer point of view. And this is where we started to write a number of criteria. We have now more than 100 criteria which are going beyond the law. We are uh, checking and monitoring the reliability of online merchants. We are uh, using the consumer feedbacks in order to provide an ongoing monitoring of the quality of online shops. And we also find out that one thing is key in order to sustain trust, because as a consumer, what I'm looking at Trustmark scheme in order to provide uh, uh, confidence, well, it's very nice to see a logo, but what happened if I got an issue? If nobody helped me, well, this is useless. So that's the reason why we said from day one, we need to provide also the resolution for issues. And the issue we were looking at were, well, I ordered something, it does not come, so non-delivery, or I send the goods back and I don't have my money back on my account. And I don't want also to run after my money. Uh, it can be very difficult. And this is really what we started from day one with the scheme. And it has proven very painful to implement, but, but uh, I can tell you very, very useful now for both consumers and retailers. Now, um, if you look at who trusts the trust mark, well, what would be very badly needed, and I think I, I'm actually linked to, the, to what Monique Goyancer said before, what's badly needed for us is a stakeholder platform where we can understand and, 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 and define together what are really the criteria which are needed in order to operate a trust mark scheme and to have the, 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 the real value 
for the consumer and, and the, the retailer. And we believe, as we have been basically piloting that first in Germany a, a number of years ago, now in 11 countries, we believe that a dialogue between consumer protection uh, agencies, uh, other association, industry association, is very useful in order to provide that kind of legitimation that is badly needed in order to develop this kind of service. Now, um, what, we have, what we have been doing also, um, actually at the beginning of this year, we also found out that one key success factor is to link the Trustmark scheme to the local ADR scheme in the various, in the various uh, countries. Because we, are fo we were focused on very much what we call the performance issues of a retailer. Oh, I buy something, doesn't... But there are more to that. There are counterfeit issues, there are problems uh, with warranties, etc., etc., that needs to be dealt, and that needs to be dealt at the local, at the national level. And that's the reason why we have been partnering, for instance, with the ECC network together in Germany and, uh, and, uh, uh, and France to provide that. That's one. The second point is, and that was my first point in the beginning, we believe that the key to provide this consumer confidence is to establish a European standard. And I say European and standard. We're not talking about American standard or Chinese or Indi Indian standard. We're talking about a European with our European law. And this is, I think, a very, very important thing to understand, especially in the, in the realm of e-commerce and Internet. The other thing was, in order to provide that kind of standard, um, we, we need also to have an offer which is, um, pro, uh, which is provided to uh, our 27 member states. And that is really something where I think, and that would be the, the uh, um, uh, well, basically the objective probably to the, stakeholder, to the stakeholder platform, to design a standard that can be used by uh, all of our Europe by all the member states, defining the quality of the retailers, but providing also true and effective mechanism in order to help consumers resolve issues. And if we do that, we will be, ha we will be, ha uh, we will be able to provide uh, sustainable and development of the trust. Now if I, and maybe I, I conclude on, on one, uh, on a few figures, uh, there has been a survey, for instance, where um, People were asked, uh, "Did you buy? Uh, did you buy online? Uh, um, not, not you know, within your national, your national border, but cross border." Uh, Sixty, I think, 62 percent of the consumer said, "No, I don't want to buy cross border because I don't know. I've got this barrier." That was said at the beginning: language, payment, logistics, etc., etc. Now, if somebody bought cross border, the next time. Well, when you ask the question to the consumer, 35% of people say, yes, I could imagine, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm afraid of buying online, but it means that 70% of the consumer who already made one step had the ability to say, well, I want to buy online, I'm able to go cross-border. So it's really about lowering the barrier, providing a standard all over Europe, and unlocking the value of, uh, of the single market. Um, that's what we have been trying to do with trusted shops from day one. We are, and um, we have been uh, also uh, looking and, and striving at developing that standard. And that's the reason why, at the beginning of this year, of this year we merge. We started to merge the, the the trust mark scheme of various countries together. For instance. The trusted, the trusted shops uh, uh, standards with the trusted shops in the UK to provide a real pan-European operator to provide this kind of service. And I think that's really the challenge we, ha we are facing now. I think we've proven for now 12, more than 12 years that there is an opportunity to increase trust. Now I think it's up to us to define the, uh, the, the framework and uh, the, the platform in order to thrive and to, to develop that kind of, uh, of, uh, of service. Thank you very much.